to me about Sorry, Harry and Meghan that. because it, it went from being it went from being this catastrophic car chase that everyone said, hang on, and the taxi driver said, nah, nothing like that. We've all been in Midtown New York. We know you can't go far, very fast anyway. What's this about? Is this about trying to get some headlines again and, and reboot Harry and Meghan? Of course it is. And it's sick. Their, their reputation has been entirely shredded, Peter. Think about someone who decides to use their mother's death, a tragedy. We all accept a complete tragedy caused by a drunk driver speeding through a Paris tunnel. But think about someone who uses that to try and get publicity, to try and continue a futile war with the media, which, by the way, in the US is quite rightly protected under the First Amendment of the US Constitution. This is sick. It's twisted. But actually, Peter, I think this car chase fast, because there was no car chase. Surely we all accept that now. The lefty New York mayor accepts that. The driver of the yellow cab accepts that. There was no car chase. So actually, I think this has done Harry and Meghan critics like me a favour, because it's proven to the folk in the liberal media in the US mm. that these two are proven compulsive liars. And I think now, Peter, it's actually the responsibility of the media around the world to fact check these two before they go and spout this nonsense. Just a quick one, DeSantis, is he going to run? He's going to run. He's going to run because he thinks even if Trump is in prison, there is a chance that at some point he might drop out of the race. Personally, I think this could be a big mistake and damage his reputation, but he is going to run. Great to have you on the program as always. Thank you, Dan.